Good morning, everyone. With over 133,000 cases in New Jersey and 300,000 plus in New York State of COVID-19 and a slowly decreasing rate of infection, we are looking to the future and starting to see a glimpse of hope. I encourage all of you to get outdoors and get some vitamin D. And if you cannot socially distance, please wear a mask. As we accept what is, let's remain in a state of awareness and prioritize the things that encourage a healthy life and immune system. Sleep, exercise, nutrition, family time, and fresh air. I am hoping there is communication to students and parents that encourages the same from each school district. If you have any questions as to communications to your communities, we are ready to help you provide the most accurate and up-to-date information. Testing is improving and access to testing is more ubiquitous. Phase one is an opportunity for us to begin to restore some normalcy. As far as school and sports, we are all looking towards next year with uncertainty. We will make the best decisions we have with limited information, but always prioritizing health first and foremost. I encourage you to keep in touch with me as communications start to come through from your leadership at the local and state level. At Columbia and New York Presbyterian, we are providing information to the government as well as other officials and organizations and helping to direct policy. Every day, new information becomes available. Immediate tactics need to remain fluid while we look to the horizon for longer term strategy. We need to have plans in place for the best case and worst case scenarios so that we are prepared to meet the challenges as they unfold. Even though schools will remain closed by the governor's orders, the rest of the world will begin to ramp up. As reopening progresses, we will have improved testing of those exposed to help better plan the next steps, along with contact tracing, which will help to, to identify and quarantine those at greatest risk versus quarantine everybody, which is our current mitigation strategy. If phase one is successful, then phase two will likely begin sometime over the summer and into next fall. The question as to whether the seasons will influence the reemergence of the virus in the fall, if silent carriers will increase the rate of spread as isolation is relaxed, whether various strains of this virus will have different impacts as travel is restored, are all unanswered questions. We will soon have a better understanding of the epidemiology of this virus. As that happens, we will be ready to move forward with strategies that can reduce the burden of this disease and prepare our hospitals with critical care and personal protective equipment for the next wave should that occur. In the interim, be well, be safe, and please remain in touch. I look forward to seeing you all again soon.